hello guys and welcome to another episode of my lecture this is Ola Yeni Dear Kolola Daniels popularly known as Dear Ko Spectre and welcome to another episode of Dear Ko Talks Law on today's episode of Dear Ko Talks Law we will be talking about acceptance under contract law but before we go straight into the lecture if this is your first time of coming to my channel kindly click the subscribe button and make sure you click the notification bell so that anytime i release a video of this nature you'll be one of the first set of people to get notified and also get to watch it so now moving straight to my lecture if you are going to understand this lecture properly it is very very important that you also understand what exactly an offer is i've made series of videos under the contract law playlist in my channel you can go to my channel now go to the playlist and then check for the contract law playlist you would see where i talk about offers and all that try to understand the law of offer i am very sure that those videos are very explanatory and they will give Give you the best information you need to have on the law of offer but this particular lecture is on acceptance so basically what exactly is acceptance in the law of contract so this is the point where i then go to my notes so yes very importantly before we talk about acceptance it is important as well to talk about offer an offer is defined as a definite undertaking or promise made by one party with the intention that it shall become binding on the party making it as soon as it is accepted by the party to whom it is addressed that is where we now have to answer the question what would it then mean that an offer made by one party has been accepted by the other party to whom it is addressed so therefore acceptance may be defined as a final and unqualified expression of assent to the terms of the offer what constitutes acceptance of an offer was given comprehensive definition by nikitobi jca in the case of orient bank nigeria plc versus bilante international limited we had nikitobi stated an acceptance of an offer is the reciprocal act or action of the offeree to the offer in which he indicates his agreement to the terms of the offer as conveyed to him by the offeror putting it in another language acceptance is the act of compliance on the part of the offeree with the terms of the offer it is the element of acceptance that underscores the bilateral nature of a contract now a b a has said i want to buy sweets from you that's b selling sweets a made the offer that he wants to buy sweets for 15 era b on the other hand is selling the sweets for 17 era and then tells a i don't have sweets for 15 era my sweet is 17 era now you can see that offer was made from a to b now b instead of accepting a's offer has made a counter offer without even knowing that he was making an offer made a counter offer that this particular suite would not be sold for 50 but 17 era. now when you are talking about acceptance can we say that b has accepted no because when you are going to accept an offer the acceptance can only be valid where you have unqualified expression of acceptance you cannot accept an offer while trying to tweak it no a is telling b i want to buy sweet for 15 era. the only time there can be an acceptance is when b says oh yeah take the sweet it is 15 era. where you modify the terms of that particular offer it cannot be a valid acceptance do you understand so the element to look for in acceptance is the question was there a tweaking did he try to change the terms of the offer if he did not try to change the terms of the offer then you should start looking forward to saying that that is acceptance if he had agreed to the terms of the offer without changing anything but then what would then be an agreement that is where we continue with my notes 
Now, the learned justice of the Court of Appeal went on to describe the various ways in which acceptance can be manifested, which is the question I asked. How then can we talk about an acceptance? What we constitute an acceptance? We already know what an acceptance is. An acceptance is the unqualified expression of assent to an offer. But how can the person accept? Do you understand? What will amount to a person accepting? And Nikitobi told us that number one, we look at the conduct of the parties. Number two, we look at their words. And number three, by documents passing between them. But an acceptance by conduct would amount to proper acceptance only if it is clear that the offeree did the act with the intention of accepting the offer as has been stated in the Supreme Court case of Okubule versus Oyagbola. First, as we shall see later in my subsequent lectures, an offer will not be capable of acceptance if the person accepting was ignorant of the offer in the first place. So you see, I told you, we all know what acceptance is, Abby. The final and unqualified assent to the terms of an offer. That is what acceptance is, right? Good. And also, Nikitobi in uh, Orient Bank versus Bilante International PLC gave us an exposition of that. Good. But then, how then do you express acceptance? And Nikitobi also told us in three ways. The first one is by conduct. The second one is by words. The third one is by document passing between the parties but then when you are talking about conduct it must be noted that the person who is purportedly accepting in this case the offeree must know that his conduct was to a particular offer because you cannot accept by conduct to an offer that you didn't even know was an offer in the first place do you understand so yes this is where i will end my lecture for today in my subsequent lectures we'll be talking about other rules in relation to acceptance how would the courts you know interpret acceptance we'll also be talking about the case of fenthouse versus bindley i will see you in my next lecture kindly make sure that you subscribe to this lecture if you love it and share it with your friends so that they can also benefit from the lecture i'll see you in my next lecture thank you very much